Am I recording? You are. All right. Where are we at today? Milestone. Milestone. And who we got? Kyle Spicer right here. Nice to meet you, sir. You oh, and and good old Leon. How are you, buddy? Hello, buddy. How's it going? All right. So usually I have uh, my buddy Travis here who guides me around and tells me what to do and how bad I'm f***ing up. Today I'm on my own. I'm usually a pretty bad judge of when I f*** up. But nobody to judge you today. So well. Just yourself to judge, right? That's true. notice I installed some hand guards. I wonder if I'm gonna be the only one on the track with them. Wow, it's so slippery. Oh my god, way too muddy. Slick out there. Way slipperier than I fing want it to be. Like any ounce of confidence I had before going into this has just been fing taken away from me. You have a few moments, it's just because they just watered it. stay out of second gear. So I'm gonna ride in third today. I re-geared it. Oh shit. I'm gonna kill somebody doing that shit. So I changed the gearing. Went up a tooth in the back. Uh, I was hoping to be able to get out of second gear and utilize third way better. And yes, I'm totally in third. But but it's like relearning how to hit the track again. Not that I ever really learned to begin with, but I had to take a couple steps back. It's probably gonna take me a lot of laps to figure this out. Like, a lot, a lot. Let's stop for a minute, think about my mistakes, what I can do to make them better. All right, so you're the seasoned pro out here. Um, sometimes when I'm going over these jumps, uh, the ass end comes out a little bit. What am I doing wrong? Am I not holding the bike tight enough with my knees? Am I, so my form must be just horrible. It's a lot in the legs. You want to keep your knees tight. Uh, yeah. And then depending on where you're sitting on the seat too, you don't want to be too far back or too far forward. Well, before I launch, I'm standing. Okay. With my knees. Are they kind of open or? No, they're, they're pinching the, the shroud. You could be holding on too tight. They're just tense in the air, depending on, on how you're holding on the bars. If you're holding one side too tight, it's just gonna push. And, Back come out. So now that I, I'm going off these jumps, the one thing I'm experiencing that I never experienced before, not only am I in a new gear, but the bike is starting to, the front end starting to ascend in the air. And that's never happened to me before. It was always descending. Mm -hmm. And then I could blip the throttle. Not that I ever really needed to correct it that badly, but uh, I feel like now I'm in the zone where I really need to cover the rear brake in the air. Yeah, so the, the thing is when you're going off too, so the best thing to do is to adjust your position on the bike. Go a little farther forward, lean off the front end a little bit more. It feels a little bit unnatural, but the, more, the farther you are forward, the back end ain't going to drop as much. Yeah. Uh, and then you can control it with the throttle instead of having to control it with the brake. Because the thing is with the brake, if you don't pull the clutch in and do it right, you're going to stall out in the air. So if you want to... Oh, shit, I never even considered pulling in the truck in the clutch. If you the brake in the air, you're, you're going to stall it out and have no control over it. That's the worst thing you can do. All right. Thank you, sir. Well, that line there. 
there. Click down a gear by mistake. sat down thought a little bit about a bunch of the mistakes I made <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make them all over again got that two brothers exhaust man sounds good Go get laps in. Trust the process. Trust the process. There we go. I, I did way better that time around. <laughs> what I learned that time around, what felt good to me is if, when I have my leg out for the turns, if I sit as far forward as I can and I hug my inner thigh on this shroud right there, it gives me the pivot I need, I believe. <sighs> I wish I would have known that to begin with. Maybe I was told, but it didn't sink in for whatever reason. But that helped me a lot. With the exits. Just getting uh, too much throttle coming out of the turn. Because you would get like this, you know? I'm trying to do that though. I, I mean, that's not on accident and that's not like yeah, poor f***ing habit. Yeah. I think it's f***ing awesome shooting dirt out of the back tire. That's why I ride motorcycles, to be able to spin f***ing tires. Huge thank you to Chaparral for making this all happen. You guys opened up a whole new world for me, man. Appreciate it. Law offices of Henry Dad, thank you so much. You guys make it possible as well. And also Voss Helmets. 
for keeping my noggin safe. Appreciate each and every one of you Patreons, and I definitely appreciate these two fools giving me the heads up on what to do and what not to do. Thanks, sir. All right, time to load up. Later. Later.